Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Tails OS on a USB drive uh, so you can access the dark web. Um, there's a lot of different reasons you might want to do this. Uh, one reason can be privacy, uh, staying anonymous on the web, or if your country censors certain websites and this will let you access them, as well as a lot of other websites that have the .onion extension. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, first thing you want to do is go to the Tails website. This is it right here. I'll leave this link in the description down below. But you're going to go ahead and click on Get Tails. And whichever operating system you're on, I'm on Windows. And install from Windows. Uh, this is what you're going to need. Uh, it says one and a half hours in total. Um, this isn't accurate. It will only take you around five minutes to download it, give or take. Um, you'll also need a USB stick. A smartphone or another computer and this is because um, when you restart your computer to get on tails uh, you can't access this website to continue the installation until you configure some other things so I'm gonna go ahead and click let's go and we're gonna go ahead and click download and this is from earlier when I was testing this but uh, yeah just wait for this to download and it will say that this file can harm your computer. That's just because it has the .img extension. But once it's done downloading, you're just going to hit keep anyway. And uh, it will be downloaded. So I'll be back once this is finished downloading. And then we can go ahead and verify the download and continue the rest of the steps. All right, so now Tails is downloaded. It's just ver uh, verifying the file. And once this is done, we're going to go ahead and download a program called Etcher to actually write the file to our USB drive. So I will be right back once this is finished downloading or verifying, my bad. All right, so now that it verified the file, we can go on to the next steps. And we're going to go ahead and download Etcher from right here. And so what you're going to want to do is plug a USB drive into your computer. I already plugged mine in. Uh, make sure it's uh, minimum eight gigabytes, but now we're going to go ahead and open up Etcher. Takes a little bit to load up on this PC, but there we go. So we're going to go ahead and click flash from file. Here's our, uh, operating system that we just downloaded. And we're going to put it on this USB right here and go ahead and click flash. And yes, now this can take a while, but um, once this is complete, it's going to also verify the installation. So you can go ahead and leave this running in the background. Uh, might take five, ten minutes, depending. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this run and we will be back. All right, so our USB drive has finished flashing, so we can go ahead and close out this. Um, you do want to open up the instructions on another device. So what I recommend is grabbing your phone and scanning this QR code. So we're going to go ahead and get that open right now. All right, so now that we have um, the Tails website pulled up on our phone, we're going to go ahead and hold the shift key on our keyboard. And then we're going to go to power, restart, and keep holding down that shift key. And once it gets to here, we're going to go ahead and click use a USB device. And we're going to click UEFI removable device. That is going to be your USB drive. We're going to go ahead and click enter. And it should take you up to um, your boot manager on the USB. It might take a little bit. Uh, you'll have this black screen, but once it loads up, there we go. See that little line? It's gonna go right here. And now we can click enter on Tails and it is gonna load you into Tails OS. You can see it's booting up. We're gonna let this run now. All right, so now that that is done loading, uh, this is the welcome screen right here. Uh, you select your language, keyboard layout, all that stuff. Uh, you can also do additional settings uh, like administration password, all this stuff, uh, we're not gonna mess with that. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and click start. And this is not persistent storage. So what this means is that 
any files that you store or download during this session are actually just stored on your RAM. So once you power off the computer or remove the hard drive, or sorry, USB drive, um, nothing is actually saved. And this is really good for security, but if you do need persistent storage, you can do that in op applications and uh, it will just be right here, configure persistent volume. But what we're gonna do now is connect to Wi-Fi. And if you don't have a Wi-Fi sign here, um, your Wi-Fi card is probably not compatible with Linux and you will need to buy a different Wi-Fi card. I can give a link to a USB one that works with Tails. Um, or you can use your phone as a mobile hotspot and enable USB tethering and do it that way, or just use regular ethernet. So we're gonna go ahead and select our network. Go ahead and type in our password. And click on connect. And once you are connected to Wi-Fi, it should automatically open Tor like this. Uh, there's a couple options. You can do hide my hide to my local network that I'm connected using Tor. This is if your um, internet connection is monitored or uh, just connect to Tor automatically, which is the easiest method. Um, I recommend just doing this because you don't have to configure a Tor bridge yourself. So I'm just going to configure a Tor bridge and click on use default bridge and connect. And this can take a little bit of time as well. All right, so now that this is done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and fix our clock because the time zone isn't set up correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and change that right now. then click apply. And now we can click on connect to Tor. All right, and now we can go ahead and start Tor browser and this will open up um, the actual Tor browser for all the different websites you can access and keep your internet connection private. Uh, this will take a while as well but here we go. So it's gonna take you to the Tails homepage. Uh, you can donate here because they're actually um, completely um, just community funded. They're a nonprofit for uh, this operating system. But what I recommend doing now is adjusting some of your settings. Uh, just go to settings and I think it's privacy security and here we go security level I recommend putting this on safest if you want the most um, anonymity while using this um, what this does is disables JavaScript fonts like stuff like that just it, it keeps your um, stuff a lot more private so I recommend doing this unless you want um, just regular website features enabled because this will limit a lot of the functions, but Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put it on safest and now we can go Open a new tab everything's through DuckDuckGo, but yeah, you you can just do regular internet too. So if we go to um, Google oh Wow that did not That did not type right. All right Google doc. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I cannot type today. All right, yeah, google.com. Uh, you can still access this. It will just take a while because uh, it connects you through three different Tor network bridges and thinks we're in a different language, but uh, you can change this down here. And there we go. So yeah, uh, you can still access all your regular websites, um, but this isn't what you would normally do. So you, you want to like access other websites like dot onion links. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, but that's how you get, um, tails OS and tour set up on a USB stick. Uh, this USB stick will work on any computer, but, uh, yeah, I can show you an onion site right now. All right. So I'm going to actually load up into a website that I host myself. 
Uh, I still don't have anything on it, so if you want to see some stuff on it, just leave a comment down below on what you think would be a cool use for this. But yeah, as you can see, it has a .onion link right here uh, instead of .com, and it's very, very random. But um, that's how you get Tails OS with Tor up and running. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to make a website like this um, on the dark web, let me know in the comments. But I will see you all in the next video.